adelante. Ahí cerca nosotros por si sale, entonces. Vamos a intervenir un Víctor. We're with the Salvadoran National Police in a small city just west of San Salvador called Colón. It's a historically violent place with a lot of gang control, gang presence. Vehículos en placa. Ahí los ocupantes de esa camioneta vive polarizados sin placas. On the surface, El Salvador's gang problem seems to be under control. And the government says it's thanks to patrols like this one. The whole question of public safety in El Salvador hinges around who controls the territory. Is it the gangs or is it the state? The current government's approach has been to have these constant, consistent shows of force in order to convince the public, essentially, that it's them and not the gangs who are in control. Not long ago, the infamous MS-13 and 18th Street gangs made this the deadliest country outside of a war zone. But murders have plummeted, and one man takes the credit, President Nayib Bukele. At 40, Bukele is one of the youngest heads of state in the world, and with more than 70% approval, he's one of the most popular. He's a master showman who's built a brand as a millennial disruptor. He started his first speech at the UN Solo un segundo, si me with a selfie. He made El Salvador the first country to recognize Bitcoin as official currency. I would think around 5 million Salvadorans have been orange pilled right now. He's big on Twitter, and he tweets constantly. He's also an authoritarian who's taken control of every branch of government and paved the way to be reelected against the Constitution. And he likes to rub that in his critics' faces. Most of all, Bukele claims to have solved the problem of the gangs. Se desplegaron soldados, se desplegaron policías, se hicieron nuevas estrategias y se logró reducir los homicidios en un 60%. But the truth is much more complicated, and nothing less than the country's democracy hangs in the balance. Bukele, who took office in 2019, comes from one of El Salvador's wealthiest families. He used to run a marketing firm, and people who know him say that's the key to his personality. Bukele presents himself as this fresh, millennial, disruptive voice that's bringing the country into the future. Is that actually true? It's marketing. Eso es creación de percepción. O es un adicto a lo que tenga que ver con aquellos grandes, no te diría pensadores, sino que aquellos grandes manipuladores de la historia, al estilo Goebbels, del nazismo. O sea, para él son sus, sus mayores referentes. Early in his term, Bukele sent the army to occupy Congress to demand that they fund his security policy. Pues estos delincuentes de la Asamblea Legislativa no quieren ni siquiera aprobar dinero que no es de ellos. But he didn't change much in terms of actual policy. What he changed was the media operation, with official Twitter accounts posting slick videos promoting the police. And Bukele started making a big announcement whenever a whole day went by without a murder. But there are actually a lot of disaffected police officers in the country who believe that the truth isn't being told. And we found one of them who's willing to speak to us anonymously about what's really happening. Has there ever been a day without a murder where there, in fact, were murders? Lo que hacen es de que las ponen en las estadísticas del siguiente día. Hay cosas que se ocultan, man, que solo nosotros sabemos. Y ¿Cómo qué? Homicidios, extorsiones. Cuando uno ve las estadísticas que, que arrojan ellos, no concuerdan con lo que nosotros hacemos, el trabajo policial. Man. Hay lugares, colonias en los territorios que son dominadas por las pandillas. Hay directrices de que no, no lleguemos a esos lugares a confrontar con ellos. Para que no hayan homicidios, no hayan intercambio de disparos y para bajar los índices. Y ahora la cuestión de los desaparecidos, para que eso ni se sabe en las denuncias. A murder is only a murder if there's a body. But if a gang hides a body in a mass grave, it doesn't count. A diario, en ciertos lugares, están desapareciendo cuatro personas en un lugar. Y cuando ve los registros uno, ya no aparece, o sea, siempre se trata la manera de, de manejar debajo del telón la, las cosas. It's impossible to know how many people disappear. The government's numbers are unreliable, and many families don't report their missing loved ones out of fear. So the government dismisses the problem. But some families make noise. After a brother and sister named Karen and Eduardo Guerrero went missing, 
their family demanded answers, and the case blew up. Bukele's government went on the attack. His minister of public safety declared to the nation, without presenting evidence, that Karen and Eduardo were involved in drugs. Es una relación de drogas la que está de por medio en este caso. Veamos en qué actividades andan nuestros hijos. He also claimed that the family waited two days to report the disappearance, but we obtained a police report that shows they did it within a day. Muy buenos días a todos y todas. So their mother, Yvette Toledo, had her own press conference in response. Mi hija Karen Yvette, mi hijo Henry Eduardo Guerrero Toledo, no tenían vínculos con pandillas. Mis hijos siguen desaparecidos. Los problemas en nuestro país están latentes. Hay muchas madres en mi lugar. No lo vivimos porque lo busquemos. Lo vamos a encontrar, por más difícil que sea, lo vamos a encontrar. For all that he tries, Bukele can't always control the narrative. 911, solamente reporta disparos. Y van cinco motocicletas con rumbo hacia Popa, con tipos sospechosos. That's because when it comes to what happens in the streets, he's not actually in control at all. Allí hay un homicidio de unas mujeres por ahí. During one week in November, murders suddenly shot up higher than they'd been in months. Ochoa, Ochoa, gladiador. So apparently there was a gang shooting, and both the shooter and the injured person fled. The victim belonged to MS-13 and was shot for trying to leave the gang. Our film crew's driver was also a paramedic, so he intervened. To understand why violence had suddenly spiked, we went straight to the source, a high-ranking member of MS-13. And from this perspective, Bukele looks less and less like the one calling the shots. En los últimos cinco días ha habido una ola de violencia fuerte. ¿Eso a qué se debe? Le llamamos la semana loca. Cuando queremos aumentar la violencia, la aumentamos y descontrolamos el país. ¿Y eso ustedes por qué lo hacen? ¿Por qué suben o bajan la violencia? Bueno, para que se dé cuenta el gobierno que él no tiene el control aquí. Él quiere poner las reglas. Y el juego de él aquí no es así, porque nosotros no somos manipulados. Él quiere negociar, pero quiere someter las reglas de ellos a nosotros. The current decline in murders that Bukele takes credit for actually started four years before he came to power. That has to do with the fact that, since well before Bukele, the gangs have made secret deals with the government. In exchange for better conditions in prison and more leeway in the streets, they bring murders down. Bukele claims he's the first and only politician who doesn't negotiate with the gangs. Los salvadoreños realmente estamos tomando las riendas de nuestro propio destino, sin negociar con criminales, como lo hicieron los dos partidos que están en ese equipo. But the news outlet El Faro revealed that there have been secret talks from the beginning. And this month, the U.S. sanctioned officials in Bukele's government for giving the gangs money and perks in exchange for lower murder rates and votes. The gangs now say Bukele hasn't always met his end of the bargain. El gobierno de Nayib Bukele dice que no negocia y nunca ha negociado con ninguna de las pandillas. Eso es lo que él hace saber a la población. Que el hijo puta verdaderamente es inteligente, pero también es manipulador. Se llena la boca diciendo a la población que él ya tiene todo controlado. Es que no tiene controlado nada. Nosotros jugamos con él. What Bukele can control is the machinery of the state, and he's used it to eliminate every check on his power. After his party won the Congress this year, he immediately replaced every judge on the Constitutional Court with loyalists, who then cleared the way for his re-election. He also fired the Attorney General and disbanded an anti-corruption commission, both of which were actively investigating his associates. After the inevitable backlash, Bukele changed his Twitter bio to world's coolest dictator. 
And yet, thanks to his well-oiled media machine, this barely made a dent in his popularity. And for that, Bukele has outside help. Muy buenas noches. Toda la verdad. El programa de opinión política número uno de El Salvador. One of the most watched TV shows in El Salvador is hosted by Walter Araujo, a defector from the old right-wing establishment who's now an aggressive Bukele supporter. Porque estos mentirosos, cobardes, no han entendido todavía que a este pueblo no lo van a engañar. Nayib Bukele representa la conducción del cambio de un sistema político, de una verdadera revolución pacífica y democrática en El Salvador. The Attorney General and the judges in the anti-corruption commission that he got rid of were investigating his associates and his government for corruption and other illegal acts. How do you defend that? Que no estaban haciendo tal cosa. Lo que estaban haciendo es armando expedientes falsos. Por eso fueron separados también de sus cargos, porque estaban conspirando contra el gobierno del presidente Bukele. Te lo digo con claridad. Aquí en El Salvador estamos siguiendo los típicos manuales de dictadores. Es cómo se manipula a las personas, cómo manipular la opinión pública. Eso en extracto es Nayib Bukele. So what is it that's at stake exactly? Lastimosamente el país está en un retroceso democrático. O sea, en, en un país que qué es la democracia en un país? Es la separación de poderes. Pero lo que dice, lo que está diciendo entonces es que la La democracia del país como tal está en riesgo. Eso es lo que está en juego. Yo, yo no sé ya si está en riesgo. Es que yo creo que ya no hay democracia. El Salvador is now ruled by two tyrants. The gangs run the streets, and Bukele controls the institutions of power. Ordinary Salvadorans like Yvette Toledo are stuck in the middle. Padre nuestro, que estás en los cielos, since Yvette brought attention to her missing kids, she's had police outside her home around the clock. She thinks they're there to intimidate as much as protect her. Este gobierno dice mucho que ha logrado o está logrando controlar el problema de las pandillas y de la seguridad pública. ¿Tú crees que eso es verdad? No sé mucho de pandillas, pero no creo que estén controladas, porque si estuvieran controladas no pasara lo que está pasando. Él no controla nada. Este es el cuarto de mi hija. Es el cuarto de Karen. Estas son cosas de ella. Era una persona excepcional. Alguien me dijo, compra unos cajones, guarda sus cosas, porque ya no van a regresar. No puedo simplemente quitar sus cosas y ya no. No puedo hacer eso. 